Hello, it is Wisdom Wednesday, June 27th, 2018. Steve Cypress here. And I gotta tell you, uh, a few days ago when it started hitting over 110 degrees every day here in beautiful, way too sunny Arizona, my phone overheated two days in a row doing my video outside like this. And so then yesterday I grabbed a few pieces of ice in my hand and uh, held the phone with the ice behind it, but then my the ice was melting all over the place and it was crazy and my beautiful wife Michelle laughed at me and said why don't you use an ice pack so there you go so now I'm holding an ice pack behind the phone and by the way it's kind of a cool ice pack I'm gonna dare take it off for a second but check this thing out we got this at the uh, Arizona Diamondback Stadium uh, a week ago the Phoenix Children's Museum or or some kind of uh, association was uh, giving these away at the Mets game at the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks uh, we went to on Sunday and uh, my beautiful wife Michelle got one of these and it's in the it's uh, in the freezer but it's uh, soft and uh, very cool so I highly recommend that you either get these to use or at least get them to have your name and contact information and an irresistible offer about your business printed up on them and give them away unlike this one that has no irresistible offer on it, failing the WOW strategy miserably. And uh, I don't even know what that Phoenix Children's thing is about or why I would contact them. So a big mistake there that I know my clients and my viewers and followers uh, will not be making that mistake. Anyway, today, Wisdom Wednesday, and my bit of wisdom today, because I see this all the time and I want to relieve some stress from all you business owners that perform services, what we call done-for-you services for other people or other businesses. It's a done for you world, right? So very few people are teachers like I am or uh, you know, provide help to people. Most people provide services, right? If I uh, you know, have a legal case, then I call a lawyer and I don't want the lawyer to start telling me or give me some manuals and DVDs and teach me how to handle my own case. I want the lawyer to take the case. If I go to a doctor, I want the doctor to cure me. If I get on a plane, I want the pilot to fly the plane to where I want to go. I don't want him to say, here's how you do it, Steve. So it's a done-for-you world out there, right? In that done-for-you world, understand that you are responsible to your clients, your customers, your patients, your members, whoever. You're not responsible for them. And what I mean by that is to relieve the stress from yourself when you're doing done-for-you services pretty simple illustration is myself as a consultant and a, a, a marketing and a business coach uh, to help people to build their business but most people know that I, I and I, I really don't know anybody that's ever became massively successful when you give them a fish when you do the stuff for them but when they learn how to fish and they learn how to attract their ideal clients and attract them in a systematic stress-free way so they're working less and making a lot more money and enjoying their business and and being able to provide for their customers, their clients, their patients, their family, their employees, their community better than ever before and feel better about it. Uh, I am teaching people and I would go crazy and I do once in a while and a mentor said to me years ago, Steve, your biggest problem is you can't care more about other people than they care about themselves. And I still have that issue today and I have to remember the saying I'm talking about today, that I'm not responsible for my clients, I'm responsible to my clients. I give them my best. I help them uh, if they need one way to do something, I give them five different ways to do it. So they can, they won't just push back and go, I don't want to do that. Well, I'll give you four other ways of getting it done. So I help people with multiple ways, solve multiple problems, but if they don't follow through, I can't let it eat me up. Uh, another story, a personal example, I went to a chiropractor years ago, I was having a problem with my hip from back in my nine years of door-to-door -door sales days and I was out of alignment for decades, didn't even know it. And uh, he said, yeah, I mean, he was a, a friend of mine and an usher at our wedding and he saw my beautiful wife Michelle and I dancing on our wedding day and he said, Steve, uh, you know, you ought to come see me about that hip issue. And I was like, no, no, it's not a hip, it's a leg, my leg. He's like, who are you talking to? I'm a doctor and I know that's a hip issue. And I, I argue, I was like, no, no, it's a leg. But then I at least had enough sense to go see him. And he took the x-rays and showed me the whole thing. And like my pelvis was rotated around and my hip was all a mess and whatever. And the, but here's the thing. He uh, did the treatments and the adjustments and whatever all he was doing. But then he also would always say he'd give me exercises to do in between the appointments. So as it started out, I was going 
I don't know, like three days a week, and then it was down to two days a week, and then one day a week. Um, but he would always say, are you doing the exercises? And I wasn't. I wasn't doing the exercises because I thought, you know, this is cool enough that I'm coming, taking the time out of my day and traveling to see a chiropractor, and I'm paying money for this thing. He's doing these adjustments. And I know he keeps saying he, that I should do the exercise, but I didn't feel like taking responsibility for my own treatment. I'm like, that's what I'm paying him for. So what the heck mistake was that? Because I, along, I mean, uh, you know, I guess now that I think about it, it, it helped him to keep me as a patient longer. He makes more money, but he, being a doctor and me being a consultant, you know, same kind of thing. We care about our clients, and hopefully you do too as a business owner. You care about your customers, your clients, your patients, your members, whoever. You don't want to milk them for as much money as you can and have them keep their problem for as long as possible. You want them to solve it as quickly as possible. So you give them the best advice. In this case, Dr. Al was like, do these exercises, which I never did. And I should have been able to be much more aligned and much more healthy, much quicker. Uh, but he would always shake his head and go, you're not doing those exercises. And I remember after a few months, I started doing the exercises. And uh, it really did make a big difference. Now when I came to see him, he could tell. I was always like, how can you tell? He's like, I can tell because you ought to be progressing even in between the visits. And then when I give you the extra treatment, you progress that much faster. Do the exercises. But see, he could put his head on the pillow and sleep well at night. Knowing that he was giving me the best advice, he gave me the exercises to do, he was doing the right treatment, and just because I wanted to screw things up and make it take longer and suffer more and not solve the problem, and which, of course, not as great for him. Wouldn't he love to have a better success story of me saying, hey, I went to see Dr. Al, and boom, in a few months, everything was great after nine years of abusing my hip, but instead took over a year. Uh, that's just one example, and I'm sure you have yours in your life, and I can barely see with the glare on here, but I see a whole bunch of people here. I don't see any questions, comments, concerns, but, oh, uh, Cody's here, and uh, James is here, Michelle's here, and I see Cody is uh, uh, doing some kind of a test, beta test for a new Apple iOS operating system, like, very cool. How cool is that? I'm not even barely using the current one properly, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway... Uh, that's it for Wisdom Wednesday. So whenever you're feeling, and if you are good and you're a caring business owner, which hopefully that's the only people watching my videos, you're not watching this if you're some fly-by-night shyster. Sorry, I'm uh, adjusting the ice pack in my hand and hoping my phone does not overheat. Um, then you do care, and you give the best advice and help and care and input to your customers, patients, clients, members, whatever. But don't beat yourself up if they neuter it cut the balls out of it and screw it up so your big bold ballsy promotion and then they neuter it and go yeah I'm gonna do it except for that one thing or except for that part I'm not comfortable with this and that you know that, that's I'm bringing it into my world it happens all the time make up spectacular ads for people and great marketing campaigns and they're like yeah except I'm gonna do everything except that well that's called neutering it you know that could be the thing that makes it work what are you doing you know why'd you hire me but you know what again gotta back off they're, they're the client. I'm not responsible for them. I'm responsible to them. I give them the very best. They screw it up. It's on them. And when they screw it up, my coaching comes out. And I coach them, of course. I don't just say, so let me clarify. I don't just say, oh, okay, they're screwing it up and walk away. You know, I'll do like Dr. Al did with me in the store. I'll shake my head or roll my eyes. I'm like, talk them through it. Attempt my best attempt to get them to comply and to do the right thing and I'll explain why that's neutering it and why it won't work as well that way and but bottom line at the end of the day as they say or at the end of the promotion or at the end of what are you doing because it's not usually just a day sometimes it's in the middle of the day but uh, when it comes right down to it that's what I mean to say um, bottom line is no matter what help you're providing, unless you're absolutely, positively, 100% doing it for them and they can't possibly screw it up, which there aren't really many things. I even talked about surgery. I talked about an airline pilot. You know, people can even screw up flying on a plane, can't they? You see in the news all the time, they get thrown off the, the plane because they started a fight or they said something stupid to the stewardess or, uh, or whatever you call them these days or whatever. So they can even screw that up. So, it, you know, they could not fasten their seatbelt, I guess, and when, when uh, turbulence comes, they could bang their head. When you said, fasten your seatbelt as the pilot. So see, people will screw up anything. You can't lose sleep over it. Continue to do your best and remember my Wisdom Wednesday tip of today. You are responsible to 
your clients, your patients, your members, your customers, but you're not responsible for them. Relieve yourself of that stress. And that's it for Wisdom Wednesday. Thanks, everyone, for being here live and watching on the replay. I'll be back. We have fun tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. Well, I pull something out of the archives, and we enjoy a little uh, walk back in time and share some memories and have some fun. And usually I throw in a business lesson or two there because I just can't help myself but do that. And I hope you'll join me then. Thanks for being here today. Camera did not overheat. Way to go, my beautiful wife Michelle, and the ice pack. Over and out. Bye-bye. <laughs>